guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you how I make notes in the Notion app. I already made a how to make my notes video in this channel around four years ago when I was still in George Brown College. It has since been privated because I don't use that system anymore. I actually don't really like that system anymore. I now make my notes online because they're much easier to take, um, also much easier to edit, uh, bring around, and just easier accessibility overall for me. So having my notes online or like in an app in a laptop like notion greatly reduces my load that i bring every day i've also made another video about notion of like my 2024 productivity board um if you guys want to watch that you feel free to go it has both of my productivity board in my personal life as well as my academic dashboard it also discusses my intentions and goals for 2024 you can you can go to the video and see what it's like and i'm really glad that i switched to my online notes because in my third year of university which is last year i had a biology professor that goes really really quickly through the contents of the regulatory systems and all of those bio biological stuff processes and stuff um, she went really really fast and I just couldn't I just couldn't keep up if I if I wrote during that time I I would not I wouldn't I wouldn't pass the course. I mean I passed the course with a decent mark It's not the it's not the highest that I ever gotten and it's not as high as I wanted it to be because she's a very hard marker or more like her TAs, but um yeah, if I wrote those notes, I would not, I definitely would not pass. Now when it comes to the notes itself, I have different types of notes. Not different structures, I have different just types of notes and where I got the notes from. And those types of notes really depends on the demands and the requirements of the course. Some courses are just lectures and readings, but there are some courses that has videos like hour long videos like a like an asynchronous video and then the actual lecture or tutorial is like more of a uh, like a seminar where we talk about the lecture and all the ma reading materials but overall i have three different types of notes i have reading i have lecture and i have video notes and again as i said they virtually have the same structure out of all of the three notes uh reading notes is my most detailed because obviously i'm reading so the content is just right in front of me whereas um lecture notes lecture notes is less detailed because i can't write everything as the professor has said and video notes sometimes i just get i just i'm just too lazy to write everything what the video says especially if it's a really short video if it's like a lecture video like an asynchronous video then yes i would be more detailed but if it's just a supplementary video to to our understanding i would i would either not write notes just be very vague on my notes okay so let's get into the um the actual notes that i'm gonna show you and uh guide you to how i make my notes so this is my academic dashboard i showed it to you in the in the uh previous notion video uh, as you can see i already have some to-do lists to do mm, and these are all of my courses these are final courses nothing has changed yeah and these are all my upcoming assessments i'm gonna show you my reading notes and that is in my biomechanics course just right here as you can see i already have it and it's already done now these reading notes will probably take take up the most of my time because they ask the most detail now to start off you have to make a page obviously and then create a title my title here is week, week one readings so when it comes to other readings i typically just use the chapter number of the book if you have multiple readings in a single week uh you can you have two choices you can make separate pages for those or you can just put it in one page i personally like to put it in one page so this would be the general reading or like the general not reading the general um title as i said week one readings if it's only one reading i would put the actual title of that reading here whether it be the chapter number or the literature title like the journal article that you are reading for your class like biology and psychology you're gonna put it here but since i have multiple readings during this week i just put it all in one thing one thing that i learned like first thing like during the first week of 2024 i did not know this existed i probably did and forgot about it or just didn't know how to implement it and that is the, the this thing that that is the which i'm gonna call it table of contents i'm gonna make a new block over here press backspace and just type in table 
This is the table of contents, which shows an outline of your page. And the way you do that, and the way this um, appears in your uh, table of contents. Oh, by the way, you have you have to you you have to press enter if you want to use the table of contents. So I'm gonna redo the demonstration. Backsplash, table of contents. Oops, select that. And see, it will duplicate it because it's the same thing. Now, in order for you to have these uh, tiles, is that you're gonna have to use the different headings. This is heading, this is heading one, heading two, and heading three. Toggle headings do work, but it's not going to appear. Anything, anything, anything within this toggle is not going to appear in the actual table of contents. Now, in order for you to have a more structured table of contents and, and uh, notes, I would suggest to start off with heading one, which is basically this one, so that you can get this um, overhead. Now, if you see you're reading and it doesn't have any subtitles, not subtitles, subtopics or subheadings, then don't use heading one. If you don't want it to be this big, you can just use regular uh, heading three or heading two, anything really. I'm just saying that if you have subhead subheadings and subtopics and sub subtopics, then I would suggest to use heading one first. Like here, the behavior of the bee, uh, the behavior of the honeybee in pollen collecting. This is the to This is the title of the i think either chapter or the article but my professor only wanted me to read a singular section which is the action of the hind legs and therefore this heading is heading number two it produces that indent meaning that this topic is underneath or like a subtopic of this topic next one is um, my second reading of the week for this course so this is heading two i believe and this is heading three and this would appear here accordingly so these two subtopics are part of this major topic and these three subtopics are part of this major topic which, which is basically what a table of contents is as you can see here there is this light bulb which is called a call out uh, which is basically just the name of the block. It makes writing stand out, as you can, as you can see from the little little blurb there. I use this when there is an important information that I simply cannot remember and just could not really. Uh, it doesn't really stick to my mind, and I know this won't stick to my mind because I know myself. Or or this is not this is not what I do, but it could be something that you do. Uh, the call can be used to to make possible final questions or like midterm questions that is based on whatever content that you're uh, making notes on. And since it is indented and underneath number two, for example, perhaps then you can write a possible final and midterm question underneath that that is uh, based on whatever point number two is. And sometimes I use callout for equations, but there is like a designated block for it, block equations. I mostly use it as a uh, as an aesthetic thing. Ooh, and another um, another function for the callout thing. I really like the callout the callouts in um, in this notion and this notion in notion is that if there is a conclusion to like an overall topic. I can use that as well or if there's an Im important quote that I need to remember or if it's like and just to like round things off I guess uh, there's different bullet points uh, bullet points are like topics or descriptions or definitions or whatever that is underneath their topic and you create a new block for a new definition or a new uh, note when to make another block and when to uh, no, when to know that is another topic. Honestly, I would I would just create a new block if the sentence is going too long. Also, make sure your notes are legible to you and comprehensible. If you have to write in short form to write faster, write in short form. It's your notes. Nobody's gonna read it. Maybe unless they ask for like your notes and stuff. Uh, it should be leg legible for you, and these notes are for you. 
also use abbreviations you don't need to write full sentences if your phrase and point uh gives out the the um the general gist of your point and is detailed enough into a single phrase not just a sentence that's good, that's good enough that's fine i can show you guys my lecture notes which is not that different from my reading notes this 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 particular this particular lecture note is not that different from my reading note because her slides are pretty sectioned so this is the main topic and these are all the different subtopics and since it is coming off from the slides her slides are already structured enough so so therefore i follow her structure talks about historical perspectives first talk about william james his theory of what the self is there's the i self and the me self what the i self is uh com composed of self-agency self-awareness self-coherence and self-continuity this is what i was um talking about just a few minutes ago a while ago is t using the toggle headings uh writing underneath this toggle and you use the actual heading uh, block like heading three heading one or heading heading two it does not show up in your table of contents again i use the call out the way that i use this call out is the answer to this question you can also do that now the good thing about notion and something that you could do that i don't do mainly because i'm too lazy Something that you can do is add pictures. You can add pictures to Notion. So if you have a certain diagram that you found on the textbook or in the slides specifically and you want it to put in your notes, you can do that. So first you screenshot it and then you copy it to your clipboard and then paste it on here. And that's basically how you put pictures in. You can also export this page. One thing to really, one thing to keep in mind though is that if you use a toggle and you close the toggle, it's not going to show in your in your doc or your PDF. So make sure you open that toggle. So if you don't want to do all of these headings and stuff, a very 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 simple uh, way to do it is to just simply uh, major topic, press tab, bullet point, subtopic. Press another tab that will create another point and description and do like examples. If there is a definition, then you will just do this. This is definition. And if you, there is a call out, like the very, 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 very important distinction or just very important information, just do call out. Now be as simple as that. This is how I used to do my notes. It's not bad. It's just kind of boring. <laughs> other things to use other than callout is the quote function or the block that is basically just a quote. This is an important quote by whoever is important. And oh, another thing, another, another thing is using columns. And I can show you in my lecture notes about magic astrology and religion as you can see it starts off fairly the same um the table of contents and this is the major topic and this is how i do it if the professor during the lecture asks the students to answer a certain question that is possible or like half right or kind of right on what the definition of a certain something is of a, of a certain term like how do you define religion i would put it here and I would, I would put the actual definition as a call out beside the student response same thing here in magic and over here as you can see i utilize the table just to say what the similarities and differences between magic and religion and here is another um, call out to define what magic is and what the society at that time or currently believed what magic and what religion is another call out i use a lot of call outs here because it was more of a back and forth where the prof professor asks something ask something and deliberate on what the different um definitions are and before he actually um gives the official 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 like definition of the term and that's how I make notes. Yeah. Um, I do want to preface that I don't do this 
every, for every single class. I try to, but I know for a fact that after reading week, which is like the mid semester break, I will be very lazy and I'm probably not going to be as detailed and as organized as the notes that I showed you. But for the most part, this is how I actually do my notes. There could be a few details missing, like the callouts and the bolded letters and the italicized letters. And I just wanna like type in as much as I can without thinking of what the format is because it's like crunch time and stuff and the finals is coming up then. I'm really bad at ending videos sometimes. So let me know what kind of videos that you guys wanna see. I know that I will be having a book review soon so um thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video hopefully in the book review and i'll i'll see you there